All right, today we're going to discuss the Mount Rushmore of the small guys. And when I say the small guys, I'm talking about the six foot and under guys. Some of these guys I had classic matches with. I always preferred working with, with the smaller guys. I always felt like I could tell the better story with the big guy against the little guy. But it takes somebody special to be able to work against somebody my size. So I put a lot of thought into this. Um, and it wasn't easy to, uh, to leave a few names off, but uh, I only get four. So here's the start of the list. Coming in at number four, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in AJ Styles. I just, I have always been a fan of AJ Styles. Um, somebody that I always wanted to work with. I was fortunate enough to have my last match with AJ Styles, and that was because I thought that much of his work. Originally, you know, we finished up in uh, our last match, was, or my last match was a Boneyard match, but originally that match was supposed to take place in a wrestling ring. And um, I was really looking forward to that because again, AJ Styles, I've never seen him have a bad match. And um, I was just, like I said, just a, always a fan and was so excited when he came to the WWE. Um, so uh, I just, just a phenomenal talent. He is what he says he is. He is the phenomenal one. And uh, what he, he brings his A game every single time. Uh, my number three, I'm going to go with uh, the crippler, Chris Benoit. Um, again, a wrestling machine. Uh, just could go. He was that guy. He was not a big guy at all. But when he got going, man, you forgot. You forgot that he was uh, such a small guy in stature. Yeah, he was jacked, but man, he was not that big a dude, but he was like a Wolverine in the ring. From bell to bell, you had to have, you had to have wheels to keep up with him. And the things that he did was solid, strong, made sense. Um, I didn't get enough chances to work with him. I worked with him a few times and had some really, really outstanding matches with him. Uh, I, I did know when I worked with, with uh, Chris that I needed to put my track shoes on because it was going to be go time. Um, at number two, uh, <laughs> there's no doubt about my number two, the Olympic gold medalist himself, Kurt Angle. My goodness, what a freaking animal that Kurt was. I mean, not only did he win a gold medal, in the Olympics with a broken neck, he made the transition into professional wrestling, which is really difficult for a lot of amateurs to do and to exceed at the level that he did. Just an incredible talent. Um, backstage interviews, I mean, he had it all. He had personality. He had, uh, you know, he's a ring technician. He could go. Uh, just, man, I, I have so many fond memories of the matches that I had with Kurt. Um, just one of those guys that was a pleasure to get in the ring with and um, just turn it loose and let it go. And you knew that Kurt Angle was going to be right there uh, and, and pushing the pace. And, uh, you know, small guys were always my favorite to work with. They just, they just were because it was easy for me to tell a story. And that's what I do. I tell stories and the big guy against the little guy, it was just a classic, but you had to be able to go. If you were, if you, and these guys that I've named so far could all hit that extra gear and chop that big redwood tree that they were in the ring with down redwood being me, it was, uh, it was really, really special. And before I reveal my number one guy, uh, I need you guys to go down to the comments and let me hear your Mount Rushmore of the smaller dudes, okay? Uh, I know you're going to be pissed off at mine or you're not going to agree with me, and that's what's so cool about this. You get to choose yours. I get to have mine. Y'all can tell me how I'm wrong. And uh, just put your, put your Mount Rushmore of the small wrestlers down there and we'll compare and we'll just see how many of us think alike. Now, my number one 
small wrestler of all time. And this was, I had to leave some very, very, very good names off this list. But my number one is none other, none other than the incomparable Latino heat, Eddie Guerrero. Eddie could work with a broom and make it a good match. He had the ability to keep people mesmerized, not only by his athleticism and his, and his wrestling acrimony, but just the things that he did. His promos were on point. He knew, he knew how to make fun of himself. He knew how to get heat. He knew how to be a babyface. He was the epitome of the undersized wrestler. Lie, cheat, and steal. Eddie did it all, and he is my number one on Mark Calloway's Mount Rushmore of the Little Dude.